Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Brian Sebastian's Movie Review Forum. Today we have a two for one uh, power punch of tall, dark, and handsome. We have with us our friend to the show, Soho Johnny, and we have his right hand best friend for life, Nino, visiting with us. And of course, we also have my guardian angel, Eileen Shapiro. Welcome to the show, Eileen, Johnny, and Nino. Thank you. I'm the dark one, so Johnny, Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me, everybody. Right. So John let's talk about, so what's new? What's going on? Because John, I can tell by your smile, you've got something going on. What is it? <laughs> well, there seems to be always something organically growing in the Soho Johnny Think Factory here, for sure. Uh, we've got a lot of interesting projects, and it's a lot of fun projects. And even though we're still going through this pandemic, it seems like we're still Hensing forward a little bit more planning and anticipation, but uh, blessed to have a lot of opportunities come our way. Uh, one of the latest things that's happened recently is we signed a deal with a, a, a genius uh, promoter and friend, uh, Maurice Hamilton of the SMC Group. Okay, and what we're doing is that we formed a partnership, which is basically uh, promoting local and international talent to be developed which are going to be meeting the growing need of multinational corporations and brands that have an entertainment-based focus. So we're very excited about that. We have a few uh, performers in, in queue now. Uh, we're not looking for uh, performers that are already established. So to me, it's, it's more or less new talent that hasn't really uh, been out there too much yet. So we're looking to find the, uh, the diamonds in the rough, so to speak, and we're going to marry them to the... Um, you know, the multinational brands like a Coca-Cola and something like that. So we have a few exciting things happening on that ilk. And we're very looking forward to uh, bringing that to fruition. And the timing is going to be excellent as we travel through and get better and better and stronger through uh, the pandemic. Um, secondly, um, we have in the works, although uh, it's not done yet, and I just could put a teaser here, is we, I'm just going to call it the Broadway Project, you know, for, you know, theater on Broadway. We have a, uh, a certain uh, venture going forward here to do a stimulus and it's to help education for the arts and for children uh, and for the theater. And it's based on Broadway in Manhattan, of course, is uh, also has been, uh, you know, has a black guy like many of the entertainment industry. So we've got something um, uh, in the works with that, which is uh, also philanthropic and uh, is a big part of uh, what we try to do. Uh, moving down the road here, uh, very exciting. We have a, a venture coming in out of Asia for a children's rock show, okay, that they're very popular in Asia, and we're bringing them here to the States. And again, these are teasers. I'm not giving official names yet on the show, Brian, but we will, uh, we will be announcing them, of course, you know, on all our platforms, your show, uh, SohoJohnny.com and Instagram and for SohoJohnny YouTube uh, and all the usual suspects. Uh, uh, we have an email list on SohoJohnny.com, S-O-H-O-J-O-H-N-N-Y.com. Uh, we have a comic book that I'm, that I'm collaborating with some great friends and people like Eileen Shapiro and, and Jimmy Starr. And uh, uh, that's a lot of fun that's coming out. And I um, uh, have a new release for an artist, Star Hansen, I promise you. That's just been released and uh, we're going to be, it, it's, it, it's already uh, hitting the ground running. Uh, and um, wow, I'm out of breath here. Um, but uh, we have a, a series that's being planned now. Um, I'm not gonna call it a reality series, but we're gonna do a sizzler soon for something that uh, I'm just gonna, let's just call it Soho at night right now. So very blessed, a lot of exciting things happening. Uh, but what is most imminent now is uh, we have a, um, a virtual show coming November 24th. So that's the two nights before Thanksgiving. Uh, it's a special time of thanks for all of us to be thankful for what we have, despite all the rigors and the trials and tribulations that we all, all, all have been through, including myself uh, and loss or uh, uh, and, and with all the diversity. You know, we must always remember that there's people less fortunate than us. Thanksgiving is the time. So we chose Thanksgiving, November 24th, two nights before, because Wednesday people go out the night before Thanksgiving, right? So Tuesday 
usually people are home. So we're doing a virtual show. And again, a lot of artists jumping in through friends and whatever, and blessed. And that is going to raise money, hopefully, for um, Let Me Help Inc., which is a foundation that it helps start, uh, which uh, a foundation different from a charity gives to different types of charity. In other words, unlike just one charity, which just has one focus, it can only do this, like Veronica American Cancer Society. Foundation, just to explain to the public uh, uh, listening to us now, could give the different causes. So we have uh, something COVID-centered for people that lost somebody in their family that, uh, that was affected by COVID, especially the breadwinner. And uh, probably also something, an anti-bullying bull bullying, uh, campaign, which surprisingly a lot of artists, uh, big names have jumped on board to support us there. So basically, Brian, um, I'm blessed because, you know, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun doing all these things and uh, working with some great people. And there's always a philanthropic aspect to what we do, which is uh, very important to me. But again, it's not about me. It's about us. It's about community. Well, Johnny, that's the that's what I think separates you and your success of filling property because you know it's all about the giving, but you always are amazing at being able to put a little twist on it so that it's an it's a fun event. It takes your mind off the tragedy, but yet it inspires you and it makes you feel really great about giving back. So that's why I think every anybody that wants to you know um, do their deed of you know, doing something good, followed so Johnny. And like he said, he gave the social media and it's wonderful. Well, it's, a, it's such a great feeling, you know, just to, you know, you put smiles on people's faces and you take them away from their reality for a night and for a while. And, you know, it's so important now, you know, as I say in many of my shows, social distancing is the opposite. It doesn't mean social isolation. It's so important now to, uh, for us to have outreach to each other and there's such a great demand for entertainment now for the change that's, that's uh, going on. So um, it's, uh, I'm just, all I could say is I'm very, very blessed to work with all the people that have come and jumped on board. And I want to thank everybody and thank, and thank everybody like, like for you guys having this show, Brian and Sherry, you know, you're a light at the tunnel as well. Uh, it's a beacon and it's so important at these challenging times. So Johnny, so so who's this stranger with this great mask who's jumped on? <laughs> well, he's got his monster mask on, but I'm going to introduce him because he's the last thing that I didn't mention a minute, a minute ago. We also have an exciting little campaign that we're doing that's resonating around Let Me Help. And we are going to auction off this young gentleman <laughs> for a, a, a fashionable high-end date with this this young man uh, he's a good friend of mine he's a beautiful person he's eligible and so we're going to auction him off for a date and we're working with a few sponsors with a high-end exotic car and one of the top restaurants most romantic restaurants in the city uh, that we're working with uh, uh, it's probably the actual date's probably going to be May 1st but of course we're going to be advertising it now and around November 24th in our show and, uh, you know, people will actually bid for him for this date and uh, starting at the being picked up and going to this high end restaurant and uh, the publicity and maybe possibly an exotic car to take him from after the restaurant to a Soho walk, something that's under my domain. And then to be entertained by a surprise entertainer after the show at another Soho loft uh, with maybe some uh, champagne and uh, very, very personal uh, show very very romantic evening uh but again it's for a great cause it's a lot of fun for everybody and uh we're getting a lot of interest in it i mean but i just mentioned it on a radio show from another friend of mine and her her uh, board just lit up with questions so his name is nino uh i'm just gonna give a first name here and uh he's uh he's got a smile that's worth a, a million dollars and he's a great guy's a friend of mine and uh you know we're looking to have a lot of fun for a good purpose and uh, uh we're, we're looking forward to meet meet the uh meet the audience yeah. <laughs> you know, a very contagious smile <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> with Nina, which i know sherry has as well it's let's just say you laugh a lot and smile a lot so nino <laughs> Yes. How do you feel about this state? Are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. Oh my 
I'm a little nervous. But I think I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I love to see stuff like this. Great, 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 great cause, I mean, great cause. It is a great cause. And I always wanted to pimp somebody out. And I'm yeah. so <laughs> so hey, Sherry, how are you? I'm good. How's everything? Long time no see. Yeah, it's nice to finally see you again. Yeah. You're missed, yeah. but it's the any young lady that wins this um, date on the town with you. It's like winning the lottery. You've got the whole package. You're tall, dark, and handsome. You're intelligent. You're successful. So you alone are the package. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We're going to have the most, most important thing. I'll just chime in is that he's just really sincerely a really good guy at heart. And uh, he's very, very noble in his intentions. And, you know, I mean, I think that's the most important thing. You know, if you meet somebody or even if it's just you know, just having a fun night out or, if it, you know, if it turns out to anything more, whatever, you know, of course, with publicity, it's for a good, good, uh, for a good cause. But, you know, when you meet somebody, it's what's inside that counts. All the glitz and glamour. And, of course, that's fun. OK. But, um, you know, the reason why we chose Nino is because of, you know, he's kind of like, you know, he's got, he's got, he's, 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 he's a beautiful soul and I can attest to that. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Do it as well. Johnny, Johnny, you've raised the bar. So what if, what if it leads to more than just one date? How do you top that for an engagement? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, you know what? I think, um, you know, oh, well, yes, yeah, sense of humor. Uh, one thing I can attest to, you know, sense of humor is, uh, <laughs> yeah. which is so important. I mean, it, it's important to laugh at life and it and extends our life. Um, but in order if, if for it to, uh, for anything that more that comes out of this, uh, that's fantastic. And I suspect that we'll be following uh, along the path and the journey here. And uh, we may take along the audience with us. We'll see how it goes. Johnny, how do the ladies out there um, enter the contest? Yeah. Well, it's going, obviously it's going to be on the website, SohoJohnny.com, uh, an announcement, but all the directions are going to be posted on all the usual suspects. Uh, uh, it'll be on Let Me Help Inc. Uh, website as well, uh, Soho Johnny Instagram, uh, YouTube, and, you know, all the usual suspects out there. There'll uh, be a and, link. And of course, we'll be covering it uh, with many different shows and publicity that's coming along down the pipe. I think so that's maybe, great. I think it's, I, you know, it's, it's, it's called the, the spirit of giving. Perfect timing for it. And this guy, I mean, you, you remind me of Magic Johnson's smile when we first saw him. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I mean, Thank you as, as I, I forgot who the announcer was, he would say, his smile lights up all of Long Island and New York. That's how I look at it. Thank you. So, Nina, what are you most excited about? I, I want to experience the day. I, I mean, I, I want to see what it's like, you know. Uh, it'll be yeah. a lot of fun to meet the person who actually bids on me, you know. That would be exciting. That too. <laughs> that would be very exciting. Nino, do you have your outfit picked out yet or are we going shopping? No, I think we're going to go shopping. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you along. <laughs> Is it going to take all day? Oh, we, can yeah. actually, we can actually go back out to California and shop all day, right? Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. Nina, what is your ideal woman? Good, good, good I, question. To be honest with you, I don't think I have an ideal woman. The ideal woman would be someone that I can get along with, laugh, have fun. That would be the ideal woman, you know, just as long as we we kind of click and enjoy our company. I'm okay with that. That would be the ideal person for me. You know, I don't have expectations, uh, tall, short, you know, stuff, just as long as we can have a great conversation, laugh, enjoy the evening, that would be great for me. Well, and for all the ladies out there, as handsome as Nino is, when I met him, he's a, he's you feel very protected. So he's got those great instincts. So if you're looking for your knight in shining armor, Nino's the man. So all you ladies get out there. This is going to be one lottery that you hope to win for sure. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jerry. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nino is a knight in shining armor, Prince Charming, all rolled into one. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You know, the fun thing about this is that women 
are looking forward to one, getting dressed up, two, just going out, three, just being able to be with someone other than their family or whatever the case may be, because it's, it's when you think about it, it's been seven months, depending what state or even country, and people just right. miss that thing. So, you know, Johnny, congratulations on coming up with that because people do need that in the right time. It's Thank something you. Thank fun. you, Brian. It's something really, exciting. It's, yeah. Again, you know, it just even when you meet somebody, I mean, you know, the basic precept to me is for dating and those people that are single or, or eligible, you know, it's about just being yourself and just, you know, there's no, I mean, just put all the publicity aside and everything, just being yourself and meeting somebody and bonding and companionship. And of course, you always have to have fun and entertain each other. But, you know, it really is just a basic connection. There's nothing, you know, high standards or whatever like that. I mean, of course, standards for ethics, okay. But aside from that, it's so important to, to connect or to at least form a companionship. And, and it's very, it, the point, important thing, I think, is to be easygoing and just to be yourself at all times, because that's what resonates. Just Johnny, have I fun. think you almost need to do a dating show. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the dating game. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. You remember that? How did it go? Yes. <laughs> he has brought it back in a new version. Right? Well, there you go. Maybe Nino should be the host. He'll be the first. <laughs> we'll let Johnny be the host, right? And yeah. Nino could be like the yeah. date six. Yeah. I'll, I'll be. Where'd you go, Nino? Oh, there you go. He's got a date I'll, already. I, I can be the one introducing all the women you know or the gentlemen that come in for the for uh, behind the that are going to accept the questions i could i could do that we got johnny and <laughs> mcmahon right with us now <laughs> eileen what's the fun part about promoting this and doing it the right way? probably the most fun thing i ever had to promote you know why i'll tell you why because first of all i love nino and nino is absolutely fun and <laughs> While we're planning this, we're laughing so much. I, I, can't, I, I can't give it away, but but Johnny and Nino have these childhood and teenage secrets that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> do you remember when you called Eileen? You said, will you do it? What did I say? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And, and believe me, everybody wants to rock with Nino. And the thing is, it's such a good cause, number one. Number two, we're laughing so hard and we're having so much fun doing it that when it's actually done, it's going to be amazing. And we won't tell anyone that Johnny will be going on the date as well secretly, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll be somewhere in the room. Maybe on He'll the next be somewhere in the vicinity. But, but the thing is this, the thing is, we want Nino to have a good time and we want whoever bids the, whoever the highest bidder is to have a good time as well. And, and Soho Johnny spares nothing. <laughs> he spares nothing. His, his date oh. is his plan for the day. Class act, class act. And right. we're, we're, we're going to, we're definitely going to go over the top here. Oh, um, and know, whoever the lucky spirit is giving and uh, giving back, but, it's the whole experience is going to be, it's going to be a great experience, whoever the winner is. Uh, and uh, we guarantee that they're just going to have a lot of fun and a lot of opulence and, you know, and it's all, you know, good core based uh, uh, intentions here. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're excited. Uh, uh, and we want, we want to thank everybody that uh, in anticipation, because already as the word's starting to travel, we're getting more questions and a lot of a lot of inquiries about who is this gentleman, anything about him. So uh, we're coming down the pike. <laughs> you know, you know tell what, us story. You know, what, what makes happened? this special for you? Why is this special? Um, I think, like you said before, people have been locked up in their homes. The 2020 has just gone by. Um, I would like the person that does bid and. Um, wins the actual contest to be able to go out, have a good time, um, let their hair down, you know, laugh, uh, have fun because 2020 hasn't been the, the best year, but we want it to be better. So Nino actually told people just in his private little office, and he has a story. 
So you oh, know, tell I, I have a funny story. I, I, I work, I'm in publishing and uh, we produce many magazines across the world. And uh, one of the women I work with, her mother comes in and always says, oh, that Vino, he's such a nice guy, he's so handsome, he's this and that. So I said to her, I said, let your mother know that this is happening and we're going to auction me off for a date in the city. And she said, she texted me back a couple of hours later. She said, yes, my mother is going to empty out her 401k for you. <laughs> says, like that. <laughs> so, so, that's fantastic. I said, <laughs> And she's got her social security checks. She'll save them up and everything. Don't worry about it. She's been in on so I, I was having a laugh with that, you know? It's pretty funny. But listen, it's... You're getting I just want people to Without even asking, it has been overwhelming. So... That's good. Yeah. 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 We have lots of fun. Johnny, can um, outside America... Uh, bid on this contest like canadian girlfriends uh, oh yes yes it's, we it's, gotta it's, watch it's, the it's, currency it's, trade though right now yes. it's a little weak so <laughs> it is completely equal opportunity worldwide okay. based uh, uh it, it, it's going to be publicized not just in the united states so we're definitely uh going to have the door open it's equal opportunity to everybody we're all in it to have a good time and uh and and whoever the lucky winner is we appreciate your interest and uh Guaranteed, you're going to have a great night, and uh, it's big, we could, we're all everyone's going to have a great time. It's just going to have a lot of fun. And John, and what, what do you want the end result to be? Well, the end result would be um, raising aside, the of course, money. aside, of course, for them, you know, uh, raising money for the charity uh, is also, um, you know, I think as Nina was just talking about. You know, there's such, you know, we need campaigns like this to just bring us out of the funk that we've experienced in this year. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, just to bring people again, just just to, uh, out of their lives. And this, this, this is just a fun project. And, uh, the, you know, the publicity, everyone's going to have a good time. Uh, and what was brought up before, it's very interesting to see what comes of this. Um, it might be a pregnant situation that's going to end up being... Uh, something else that we're going to be doing maybe with more longevity, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we have a lot of talks going on about that. So what do I see coming from it? Possibly something to further this campaign and just to make grow legs into something bigger that we're going to do. Uh, and uh, we will, uh, there's always going to be a philanthropic um, connection here. Probably let me help because it's a foundation. It, you know, it could be muscular dystrophy tomorrow. It could be cancer. It could be this. Uh, and, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I think you're just when you, when you tie entertainment with philanthropy and you engage people and it's outreach and it's something that's anti-diversity, it's bringing people together, you know, um, I think there's nothing, there's nothing negative that could come of it. So going forward into this, uh, we'll see where it takes us. And, you know, we're very op optimistic that right now from, uh, the early signs of what would the feedback that we're getting I'm really optimistic. I'm going out to buy my dress for the wedding already. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> Nina, what are your friends thinking of this? Um, they think it's a great idea, and especially for the cause, you know, and they say you got to raise as much money as you can to help these families that were devastated with COVID and just you're doing a great thing and have a great time, great dinner. Someone's going to serenade us. Johnny was telling us, and it's just going to be fantastic. We're going to have a great, great time. Sherry, so when you think about this, isn't this great for women? It doesn't matter where they are in the world, does it? No, men, women, it doesn't matter. Um, so for a cheat sheet for the lucky lady, Nino, what, what kinds of things do you enjoy? Certain cigars, anything, just so that there's not a lull in the conversation? No, no, I, 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 everybody knows I love to cook. I love to okay. cook. I love to experiment with foods. I love to try different ethnic foods. I, I like to go out, spend the days outside, outdoors, beach. We go on Johnny's boat. I love it. Um, I just like to have a good time. You know, you, you, you know, I spent some time with you. We had fun. Uh, we, there was a group of us out in California, you know, 
we would hop. Um, I think we hopped a little um, parties during the Oscar event and stuff. And uh, we had a great time, you know. So it, it's just having fun, enjoying yourself and um, trying to help some people, trying to give back a little bit. That's that's what I think is the best thing about it. Well, well I think and for the lucky lady out there, um, Nito's got that presence. You know, you're always loving to just enter a room. And when you enter a room with Nino, all eyes will be on you because he's got an amazing presence. So, yeah, Thank now you. he's a good cook. He's got everything. <laughs> and, and, and he's a galloping gourmet. Nino, you just dropped the bomb there because he is, uh, and I could attest to that, because he's cooked for me and a group of other people many, many times. And, uh, you know, he knows his way around the kitchen, ladies. So that's another thing. <laughs> Of it, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to uh, know that. I mean, there's nothing, you know, you can't put anything past a good home cooked meal. Absolutely. That's right there. <laughs> and what's your favorite thing to cook? I don't know. I cook all different things. I mean, I I love cooking like uh, chicken sorrentino, and then I make a, um, a soup of the pesh, uh, you know, which includes all the seafood. I love pasta. I love to to bake lamb and duck and all that. What, whatever you hand me, I'll try anything. I'll try anything, especially with food and stuff. It's it's. I feel that you you don't know what it's going to taste like until you actually taste it. And a lot of people just look at it and say, "Oh," but I, I feel you got to taste everything before you say you give it that "ooh." And usually. It's very, very good. So we don't want that ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. Get a bit on the but, uh, <laughs> Nino, do you have a you have a social media link? We got about two minutes. Actually, I'm not on social media. I have to I you know, but after this, Johnny's trying to convince me to to hop on and I think I will because I think it'll help the overall contest and everything. So we'll 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 work on that. We'll be we'll be creating an uh, um, an auction off Nino page. Yes, yes. Nino is 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 historically very very low key. Okay, despite you know his smile and his his persona and his demeanor, which is so engaging. Uh, and he, but he's been very very low key. Uh, ladies out there that are listening, so uh, you know he's not one that's always out here. Or whatever you know, he's very very family oriented and uh i just want to put that out there too you know it's not he's not even on social media but he will be now we're kind of like catapulting him a little bit more <laughs> to the forefront <laughs> but, he'll be uh, trending you know, go from, go from the, you know from the what do you call it, from the pan to the frying pan above the fire or something there you go <laughs> that's what it's going to be like so everybody vote for nino Folks, you know, with, with, no, we got We got the raise a lot of cash. Yeah, we need a lot of vote for him with the size a lot of cash. Whatever you can do, and 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 it will be announced, I think, around Christmas time. Who wins? So just stay tuned, and um, there'll be runner ups and, and and all of that stuff around um, November 24th. So you'll know and who for the lucky but, lady. We're gonna have a blast. <laughs> all, right. all right so johnny with that give uh the social media links and everything so people can find out everything coming up because november will be here before you know it christmas yeah again soho johnny s-o-h-o-j-o-h-n-n-y.com uh, soho johnny llc on facebook um soho johnny on instagram youtube and i encourage a lot of people to sign up for our um email list on SohoJohnny.com because that, that's going to be the first blast that's going to go out there with some uh, with, with uh, all the latest news and, uh, and, and any of the campaigns that we're working on but you know we're, we're on all the uh, you know social media and we're, all, and, and, and we're constantly in, uh, in, in the public eye and uh, we, we're, we're going to be announcing it as we go along uh, it's probably going to be well we'll see we'll see it might be on radio channels it's going to be all, all throughout in the next ensuing months and what I will do is I'll start talking about whatever Eileen gives me uh, permission to say Tuesday and Wednesday uh, for Los Angeles stuff, which will be good. And obviously Sherry's going to be good stuff out of Canada. I can only imagine what she's got in her mind right now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, so, it'll be a nation rivalry on who gets the most influx of votes, 
Canada, America, Europe. <laughs> All that right, that, that so with cool that, I'm going to end this with this because Johnny Smile and Neil Smile, if the world needs a smile, it's both of their smiles. So if you see one without a smile, give them Nino's and Johnny's. And then this is Movie Reviews and More. I'm Brian Sebastian for Sherry Nelson, Eileen. We will see you next week. Hey!